Well, you will have to stay tuned to Beyond World is One for the latest on India elections. We will be joined by experts throughout the day. Remember that today is a seventh phase of polling in the Indian general elections. Uh, we have Bihar, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Chandigarh seats which will be going to vote today from these states. Now, 59 constituencies, seven states, one union territory, and 918 candidates. Phase 7 of Lok Sabha polls has kick-started. It's the final phase of voting. Over 10 crore voters are casting their ballot in about 1 lakh polling booths that have been set up. Like most of the previous phases, it's a holding operation for the BJP, which currently has 30 of the 59 constituencies. All parliamentary constituencies in Himachal Pradesh and Punjab are voting along with the Union Territory of Chandigarh. The, in fact, the rest of the 41 constituencies are from the states of Bihar, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh and UP. Now, um, among the top contenders in this phase are Prime Minister Modi himself from Varanasi, BJP leader and Union Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad and Congress leader Shatrugan Sinha from Patna Sahib, an actor turned politician from, in fact, Sunny Diol from Gurdaspur. Uh, these 59 constituencies will vote till 6 p.m. in most states except in Jharkhand and parts of Bihar and Uttar Pradesh where voting will end early at around 4 p.m. So will India have a new government at the centre or will the Modi magic work? The countdown has begun in, uh, in fact, exactly four days from now, we will know the final picture. Now let's have a quick look at the key battles in this phase. Now the most keenly watched contest is in Varanasi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi contesting for the second time in what many say will be a one-sided contest. Against him are Ajay Rai of Congress and Shalini Yadav of the Samajwadi Party. The Samajwadi Party had tried to replace Shalini Yadav with the former BSF Jawan Tej Bahadur Yadav, but his nomination papers were rejected. In 2014, PM Modi won by a margin of over 3.7 lakh votes, defeating his nearest rival, Ahmadni Party's Arvind Kirjival. Now, second on our list is Patna Sahib in Bihar. The battle is between Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad, who is squaring off against BJP turncoat and Congress leader Shatrugan Sinha. Sinha is the sitting MP from the constituency. In 2014, he won the seat by over 4 lakh votes on a BJP ticket. And number three on our list is Gurdaspur in Punjab. Actor-turned-politician Sunny Diol is taking on seasoned politician Sunil Jhakar of the Congress who won the Pai poll in 2017 after the demise of actor Vinod Khanna. Interestingly, in 19 elections that have taken place in Gurdaspur since 1952, the Congress has won 15. And number four on a list is Diamond Harbour constituency from West Bengal. It was once a left bastion and it has voted for Trinamool since 2009. It's the constituency of, of Abhishek Banerjee, nephew of Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. He is also touted as the heir apparent of the Trinamool Congress. A 31-year-old is fighting to retain his ticket against Dr. Fuad Halim of the left and Nilanjan Roy of the BJP. Now, the battle for Jadapur in West Bengal is a significant one. It has been a Trinamool bastion for a long time now. A time it is banking on a 30-year-old Bengali film star Mimi Chakraborty for a third consecutive win, where party chief Mamta Banerjee is facing Anupam Hazra of the BJP and Bikash Ranjan Bhattacharya on the left front.